Hello and welcome to the show. I am Joe Top at. Ever since I started the Forgotten Peanuts character series, I receive a ton of requests to talk about different characters. The subject of today's video, now, is one I've never gotten a request for. So, why am I talking about her? Because Nell's place in Peanuts history is very unique. Most of you watching probably never heard of Nell, and there's a good reason for that. Unlike the characters I've talked about and the characters I get requests for, Nell was never featured in the strip, nor was she ever in the specials or movies. In fact, Nell was never used in Schultz's lifetime. So, who is she anyway? To answer this question, we have to go back to the 90s. After a trip he and his wife took to Scotland, Schultz was inspired to write a script for a new Peanuts special. The special was going to be called, Will You No know Come Again, Charlie Brown? For those of you who don't know, the title was taken from an old Scottish poem about Bonnie Prince Charles. Anyway, the special was to involve the Peanuts characters going to Scotland for a big music festival as part of some school program. Once there, they meet a girl named Nell. She basically serves the same function as Pierre and Bon Voyage's Charlie Brown. Both Charlie Brown and Linus develop feelings for Nell, like how Marcy and Peppermint Patty had feelings for Pierre. There was even a side plot where the three of them tried to find the Loch Ness Monster. They most likely never found him because he was too busy harassing Chef's parents for free 50. Sadly, the network nixed the idea and Will You Know Come Again, Charlie Brown was never made. It's a real shame too because I could actually see this idea work. Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown has always been my favorite Peanuts movie that Schultz made. That involved the characters going to a different country. Well, two different countries, but you get my point. So I believe this could have been one of the best specials. Heck, it could have even been the fifth movie. I don't know the reason why it never got made, but I do have a theory. For those of you who haven't watched my Peanuts Animation Legacy videos, the 90s wasn't a great time for animated specials. CBS, the network that aired the Peanuts specials, was under new management. They didn't see animated specials as profitable, so they started to reject ideas. This is why Jim Davis stopped making Garfield specials after 1991, CBS just kept rejecting them. Although they still accepted Peanuts specials, CBS didn't air as many as they used to. A lot of the specials made during this time were either direct to video or aired on a different network. Some, like Will You Know Come Again, Charlie Brown, were never made. With that history lesson out of the way, Let's take a look at Nell as a character. Judging by these storyboards, Nell seems like a friendly girl. She was there to welcome the gang when they first arrived in Scotland. It looks like she would have been more involved with the plot than Pierre and Bon Voyage Charlie Brown, though they both serve a similar purpose. We also get to see her grandpa. He seems to be more welcoming to the Peanuts characters than the Baron was in Bon Voyage Charlie Brown. Nell is wearing a plaid dress, which is typical since she's Scottish. She has braided pigtails and blushy cheeks, like what Heather had in It's Your First Kiss Charlie Brown. I don't know if Schultz was behind her design, but he could have been. These storyboards are the only source we have that Nell even existed. Because she wasn't in the strip or the specials, she was the ultimate Forgotten Peanuts character. 
She might have stayed that way if it wasn't for Kaboom. In 2021, Kaboom released a graphic novel, Scotland Bound, Charlie Brown. It used the basic storyline from the unproduced special, but it isn't a direct adaption. I'm not going over all the differences between the two. That would take too long. I will say that we never see Nell's grandpa. Nell's basic design in the graphic novel is the same as it is in the storyboards. The main difference is that she has freckles in the graphic novel instead of blushy cheeks. And she doesn't have braids. I can't say for sure if her personality is exactly the same, since all I have to go on are these few storyboards. I don't think it's too different, though. Her role in the story is to serve as a hostess to the characters. She gives them a tour of Scotland and would educate them about certain landmarks. Nell is a pretty friendly girl, always polite to the characters, including Charlie Brown. Nell lives out in the country where her family raises coo and sheep. There are some pretty funny scenes with Snoopy and the sheep, but I digress. A major difference between the unproduced special and the graphic novel is the motive for the characters to go to Scotland. In the special, it was to attend a music festival for a school program. While there is an arts and music festival in the graphic novel, that's not the main reason why the characters went. It was so Charlie Brown could meet his pen pal, Morag. I don't know if I said that right, so... Forgive me if I mispronounced it. Charlie Brown had been writing letters to Morag for some time, and he's developed a crush on her. So the gang raises money to make the trip. It turns out that Morag has 30 pen pals, including Charlie Brown. To add insult to injury, Morag is going to be in Mexico City while the gang is in Scotland. Needless to say, Charlie Brown doesn't take the news very well. Nell does a good job at offering him comfort. She gives him some good advice. Life isn't about what you wish were happening, but what is happening. She also encourages him to read some of his poetry at the festival. There is no love triangle between Nell Charlie Brown and Linus, I'm actually glad they chose to drop it. The story flows better that way. Although it never comes out and say it, I got the feeling that Nell might have a crush on Charlie Brown. Towards the end of the graphic novel, Nell asks, Will ye no come again, Charlie Brown? To which Charlie Brown replies, Would ye like me to? Nell blushes at his reply. Basically confirming my suspicion. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you buy a copy of Scotland Bound Charlie Brown. It really feels like a classic peanut special. Since Apple TV has been making new peanut specials, maybe they should consider adapting this. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section if there are any forgotten peanuts characters you wish me to talk about. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.